the Monmouth women's lacrosse team enters the final week of Northeast Conference play, still unbeaten in league play with a chance to host the upcoming NEC tournament. I'm being joined now by junior defender Kelly Dalton and senior attacker Erica Abinshone. They're going to let us know about the big two road games that are upcoming this weekend. And Erica, we'll start with you. The, the team is on a great run right now. You go into play on Friday at Bryant with a chance to still host the league tournament. As a defending NEC champion, it has to be exciting for you. It's very exciting. We look forward to Friday's game. This is a huge weekend for us. We understand that we have to win out in order to host, so we're hoping for the best. We have to um, actually pick up our game a little bit more. We have to step up and play as a first half, te half team and not just pick it up in the second half. So. Well, we've noticed the offense be able to pick things up in the second half, which we'll talk to you about in a second, but kind of allowing the offense to get into their game, Kelly, has been the play of you and the rest of the defense and Katie Donahoe in goal. You guys have really been playing well recently on this NEC winning streak, and how important is it to get that going and allow your offense time to, to get into the flow of games, which they have, but you guys to pretty much be solid all game long? Um, you know, you're right. We are pretty solid uh, throughout the whole game, and Katie's just a wall and goal, and she doesn't let anything through. And we realize that our momentum and our, us making big plays will help the attack get going, and and make some good plays on their end. So as long as we're doing our job, they do their job and it all comes through. And Kelly, quickly to kind of follow up on that, against Sacred Heart last time out, close game in that first half, right around 3-2, 4-3 before the offense went on their big explosion. But while they did that, you guys were getting draws, for causing turnovers, and, and just were able to, to get it to them fast. When you're playing like that, with that kind of momentum, as a defense, how is it feeling? And, and what are you communicating to each other? You know, we just try to stay motivated. Uh, we we can get a little frustrated, but then we just pull it together and we keep doing our job. And, you know, sometimes when um, Sacred Heart is doing a really good job defending um, our attack, we have to just go through harder and stay more motivated and stay solid. And in those last couple of games, Erica, on the attack, it has seemed as though in the first half the offense kind of feels its way through, kind of gets into the flow of the game, but then the last couple of wins, second half, you guys have really been able to go on these long scoring runs to put these games kind of out of reach. When you when you get into a flow like that offensively, what are you and the rest of the attackers and the midfielders kind of thinking as that's going on? And I'll ask you the same question I asked Kelly, kind of communicating to each other. Well, the one thing about our attack is that we know that everyone can get the job done, which is a really great thing. The other teams don't know who to scout because they can't really. We have everyone who could step up to the plate if one girl's injured or out. We know that our attack can consistently get it done. We just have to stay positive and, you know, tackle one goal at a time and just get the job done. You know, and, and this game, these these last two games, and, and I'll start with you with this question. Last season, you guys had to, had to win to get into, into the postseason, had to get those last couple. This year, you've already clinched a playoff spot, but now with the goal of having it here at Kessler Field, does that, if at all, change how you look at these last couple of games? 100%. I mean, we want to host. That's the end of the story. But we have to stay humble, be confident, really play hard these next few days um, for practice, go out there on Friday, play to win, not play scared, and just really play our game, bring it in the first half, and bring that again on Sunday. And then, you know, we'll host. We'll host next weekend. I know that's the goal of, of not only these two, but of Coach De Denise Westcott as well. I'd like to thank both Erica Abinshone and Kelly Dalton for joining us here as we look ahead to a very big road weekend of women's lacrosse. The Hawks are on the road Friday at Bryant and then the all-important clash in New Britain with Central Connecticut State on Sunday.